friends, it's Nancy. Um, I've got a flip through to share with you. I have finished remaking this journal that I started a week or so ago. Um, it has a hollow back spine, hidden spine. So there's a little bit of um, cheesecloth here, a little bit of vintage lace top and bottom. Um, it has eight signatures, lots of vintage uh, seam binding. The closure is actually vintage seam binding that's threaded through uh, this um, eyelet. I have glue all over me. And um, yeah, lots of vintage trims and laces and fun stuff. So um, I've, I've put down this doily because I'm hoping that I get enough light but it um, doesn't glare off the glass. So I'll just untie the seam binding. And this was from an, I want to say, 1890s book of poetry by George Eliot. And if you, if you saw earlier videos, you know that this was a, a journal I finished. Oh, it was one of my first journals. And the spine had cracked in the old leather so I took it apart. It only had two signatures in it, and I didn't like that how that looked at all. So I took it all apart, put a new spine in it, made some new pages, um, replaced some things, and well, this is what we came up with. So um, the front page, well, maybe I should tell you a bit about my inspiration. So when I was taking apart the original two signatures that I had in here, I noticed that I had used a lot of um, Edith Holden pages and I thought, okay, let's let's do, do Edith Holden. Just a little bit of thread there. Anyway, so I uh, got out my Edith Holden books and just went to town. So uh, this title is torn from the original book and inside this little brown bag is a tag that has the inscription it says BB Turnbull December 25th 1890 so that's just about 130 years um, I've got a little bit of trim on that page um, of this coffee dyed paper book page uh, more coffee dyed paper and here I've got a little uh, crocheted doily and I've got uh, this little charm with a little topaz hanging from it and inside I made this long skinny tag that you can journal on um, and just plunked it in there and that's using book page from uh, Edith Holden. So this was a piece of Franken paper. This is the center of this signature actually. I feel like I missed something but no. This uh, page came for, out of a vintage book and I just liked the, sort of the Victorian feel so I added it there as a decoration. This here is a little notepad so it flips up and it has several sheets of coffee dyed writing paper in there and I um, was inspired by Clemmy's Creations control lifting up all the papers but I've also made this into um, a little pocket so I've made a journaling card out of this photograph of Edith Holden that came out of her biography and I used a little um, William Morris fabric there is a tab pull we'll just tuck her back in there um, more book page, coffee dyed paper, and that's the first signature. Uh, this is a little tuck spot where you can pop in a piece of paper or tag or something. And again, it's matching the same feel. Um, natural colors, um, butterflies. And this is scrapbook paper with some vintage lace stitched, stitched to the edge. I made this little pocket um, maybe I'll flip to the opposite side. So this was something that I, came to me in the morning, the other morning when I woke up. So I made this little booklet out of two um, half sheets of book page 
On this side, I have um, made sewed it into a pocket by stitching on all three sides, decorated it with a little label, and inside is a collage tag. You can uh, journal on the back. Let's see if I can get this back in with no muss, no fuss. Probably not. I have to be looking at it. And uh, so this piece of uh, this piece of um, pocket booklet it's uh, sewn right into the signature so on the other side these ends are open up and I've just popped in some craft paper that I've stitched on my sewing machine and glued to the inside of that those pages. Anyway, book page. Here's some coffee dyed or tea dyed paper, uh, ledger paper that um, uh, Catherine made for me. Some more Franken paper. Uh, this is a library pocket that I made out of book page, and inside is another journaling card photo. Um, that I got from the Edith Holden biography, but the back is also a tuck spot. I just don't have anything in there because this thing is getting pretty fat. Um, there's that booklet. Okay, book page. And here I have a piece of coffee dyed uh, lined paper that I have folded over, and I've got a little altered paper clip there holding it and inside the fold you could certainly journal on the inside but inside the fold I have this big journaling card that has some lace and, and netting and embroidered fabric there and uh, you can just flip that do some journaling and then pin it back on so this is just a little altered paper um, paper clip <laughs> has a little flower on a stamp and that's a genuine stamp some lace and some um, brown paper this is a doily that's really crisply uh, stiffened there with some starch book page the other half of that doily and here is um, another piece of Franken paper, but I've stitched on this wide old um, eyelet lace and inside I've got this envelope, this large coin envelope that you can put things in, but it's covered in this lace and has a lace trim there. Um, if you're interested in finding out how to make that, I do have a video. Um, I'll try to remember to Put it below. Little um, collage there with a bird, etc. Here is another um, advertisement that was in the back of a vintage book, and I've made this long skinny tag um, with a piece of uh, an image from Edith Holden. Just gets tucked in there. Book page. This is a, also a page from that very old book. It has a little bird's nest on it. You can op open the envelope and put something inside. Um, and in the back I've tucked this little tag. The tag is made out of a book page that I have um, gessoed so that you can write on it. Let's see if I can get this in. I have a hard time doing things when I'm positioned like this. Um, here is uh, a little tuck spot that you can put something in there. It's just a collage. And here is a, a vintage doily that I've stitched in and I've put another tag. Um, on the back of the scrap of paper. Book page, Franken paper coffee dyed paper, and here is another one of those um, notepads, and 
I've made this little index card out of book page and I um, added some coffee dyed lined paper to make a journaling space there. Tuck that right in there. Book page, coffee dyed paper, Franken paper. This is an image of a younger Edith Holden. And this is a vintage hanky that I've stitched on there. She just pops in. Um, this is one of two envelopes that I put in here. And it's uh, also um, inspired by Clivy's Creations. So this is a book page that has been folded into an envelope. Um, but I've added this um, paper. Gosh, tea dyed paper so that you have a place to journal and um, another one on the front, um, but not on the back. Just so you can see some of that lovely Edith Holding Holden hand printing. This is a little tuck spot with a piece of that vintage hanky and I've just tucked in this uh, tag that has um, uh, just on the back so that you can journal. Another image of Edith Holden from her biography inside this pocket made from a vintage handkerchief. Uh, Rankin paper with some lace. This is um, just a pocket. This isn't a, a um, <laughs> this isn't a, um, a notepad, but it's got a nice piece of uh, um, tea dyed paper on there. And I've made this card. Um, I didn't put any writing paper on it because I thought that this image was pale enough that you could write over top of it, and it's just tucked right in there. some uh, ruffled fabric sewn there. Here's another library pocket with a photo from Edith Holden's biography. Uh, this is another tuck spot. Franken paper, book page. This um, line paper here is actually from a vintage ledger that I got at an estate sale a couple weeks back. You might have seen that in a haul from when I went to the estate sales in Buffalo three weeks ago. Um, it did need a little bit of reinforcement and that's why there's this um, washi tape, um, but it's beautiful texture. There's another um, tuck spot. This is difficult. That which can be done immediately, impossible. That which takes a little longer. And on this side, um, I have another altered paper clip. And this has a little Victorian scrap. It says forget me not on a little bit of fabric. Inside is another journaling card with lace and embroidered netting. And there's some ledger on the back. And it just gets tucked in there. And we'll pop that paper clip back on. Uh, coffee dyed paper, a scrapbook paper. Here is the last of these um, notepads. I love the little bees. And another um, index card that I made out of book paper and added some uh, coffee dyed line paper for journaling. Book page, coffee dyed ledger. I love the trim on this one. Um, this was among some of the things I got this past weekend. It had been uh, basted together, but I took the basting stitches out. And I love it. Uh, this was coffee dyed scrapbook paper. Book page. Tea dyed ledger, more Franken paper. This is a um, a guest check, but I've left the one side open so that you can use it as a tuck spot if you like. 
inside is just a little tag and this is a genuine tea card from I want to say the 60s this is from uh, Red Rose Tea and I just love the green colors this is an image of Edith Holden that was that I cut from the um, uh, the paper my goodness the dust jacket the dust jacket of the one of her biography books that I had and these are some genuine stamps this one says one shilling um, so you can just tuck these little cards in there page coffee dye page uh, this is another freaking page this is just um, a little flower that I made by punching out oh, not punching I used my die cutter um, dictionary page there's a little bug there here's the second one of these envelopes it has some violets on the front and places to journal inside and then just gets threaded through it's hard for me to do these things because I'm so darn nearsighted <laughs> you don't want my big head blocking the view do you uh, book page um, here's another one of those embellished uh, altered paper clips this time it's holding on this journal card that includes book page from Edith Holden and a little bit of a collage some coffee tea dyed paper on the front so you can journal front and back and then and on on that page of course and then just pin it to the page and you, you can move it around book page a piece of ribbon. Uh, this ribbon came from a uh, haul that I did this past weekend. I love it. This is the final page. Again, um, another pocket made with a uh, book page, tea dyed paper, and some collage from an Edith Holden image. And again, I made this little index card. I put the word journal there. Um, I didn't add any place, any papers to write on because I thought, again, that this was pale enough that you could just write right over that and it gets tucked back in there and that is my George Eliot journal if you're seeing this video it has been listed for sale on my Etsy and if you're interested in purchasing it please go over to my Etsy shop have a look um, I do have a couple of other journals still available uh, that I didn't uh, list as soon as I created them I just started to flip through and then kept them but now I've decided I'm ready to part with them I'm um, I'll come back in a minute and show you those too so that you have another final look at that okay I'm back to give you a quick glance at these two journals um, I will link below to the more complete flip through this one is um, this is made with a tapestry that I actually stole out of my neighbor's garbage it had a little hole in it so I didn't use the part of the tapestry that um, had the hole of course I just trimmed that piece off and I love how this turned out and I love the colors it's got a little book plate here uh, again uh, lots of vintage trims uh, seam binding this one is stuck um, And it's got, um, this is a, na or not a napkin, this is a vintage um, handkerchief that has this tatted edge. Lots of different papers here. There's some um, Franken papers. Again, it's got a real um, um, nod to Edith Holden. A little flip of um, crocheted lace okay so that's just sort of a 
again this is m mainly focused on journaling so there's not a lot that I don't think there's anything that comes in or goes out um, so for sure lots of journaling can happen there the other one this one I posted a uh, more recent flip through I thought I wanted to keep this um, but I've decided not to it's called the rose growers treasury this is all roses and pink um, I have this little uh, pink gemmed uh, brooch on the front it's closed with this uh, coffee dyed cotton and it's got pink charms and beads um, lots of oh, this was the uh, inscription it says December 20th 1934 so I've included that in there lace collage tabs um, book page envelopes uh, little booklets and tags um, vintage magazine this is a little fold out with decoupaged um, napkin um, it's got some tags in there so lots and lots of pink lots of roses lots of tags another doily I love me this is kind of the thing I like to do now is the doily with a little pin or, um, that's kind of my thing that I can't bear not to do big tag in there so I will link below and you can have a better look at uh, oh there's another one has this little mason jar in there with a vintage safety pin um, anyway I will uh, put a link in below so that you can have a better look at uh, what's uh, all included in this this journal so if you are seeing this video these journals all three journals have been listed on Etsy and are available for purchase um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and uh, this time we really will talk to you soon bye bye